Yes, I'm going to play Fury Redux. Now go become member of the Cope and Seat. And hello everyone, it is I, Comrade Ivan, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Fury Redux mod. And as you may know it, today it is still Civil War June. And what country is more synonymous with civil wars in Hearts of Iron 4 than Spain? So yeah, we're gonna be playing Spain, one led by certain Jose. No, not Jose Antonio Primo de Rivera, but one led by Jose Diaz. So yeah, today is gonna be quite an experience, so let's jump right into it. And here we are in Fury Redux, Socialist Spain. Here in a not so good of a position and immediately starting in a war with Nationalist Spain and of course the Monarchist Spain. However, luckily we are not at war with the Republicans. So at least that is good, but I have a feeling that is not going to last for very long. And looking at our national spirits, we can see that the situation for the socialist Spain is not the best to say the least. However, we have our own unique focus tree, just like all the sides in this civil war, so let's start with organizing the socialist force, because that can help us a bit in our military situation. And if you have come here to, you know, find a solution how to quickly win the civil war, you're probably looking at the wrong place, because I'm gonna make this 10 times harder than it has to be. And now here's a pro tip that I have seen Mountain General do, cause... Boy, am I gonna need some goddamn help in this. If you ask uh, Republican Spain for military access, they will gain these territories, so that means I don't have to worry about North. So now I can try and push in the south and boy I have a feeling this is not gonna end well. Boy this is gonna be a bad idea but hopefully bashing our heads into them will work eventually. And small pushes in the south and we will eventually succeed. We just need to make sure so that Republican Spain doesn't capitulate. Because if they do, oh boy is it gonna get hard. Man, now I realize what they meant by Spain is pain. Well, these two focuses give me guns and manpower. Come in the name of peace. Well, for a small amount of political power. Damn, this is not overpowered at all. Oh boy, I'm having a true Spanish experience here, because I have a feeling I want to shoot myself. 99% towards capitulation. 99%! And the monarchists have kicked the bucket. And now let's go and help out our republican friends. And once you break the line somewhere, it is easy from then on. And this, my friends, is how you win a war. And I knew that this was gonna happen eventually, so... Yeah, let's go and try to beat up the Republicans. And just as I thought, this wasn't really hard, considering most of their divisions were militia units, and mine were actual proper military. And now that the Spain is finally united under our rule, we can finally do Spain, Socialist and Revolutionary. And the Civil War is finally over, and Spain is united again. However, this is not gonna save us from the consequences of the civil war. 
And now we have gained a new and bigger focus tree. So yeah, let's begin with recovering from the civil war, which starts with socialism triumphant. Well indeed, however, how is that gonna help my ruined country? And now what to do with the growing conflict in the movement? And of course, I'm gonna crush the anarchists, cause cope and seat. Well, would you look at that, it appears that America and Mexico are having a bit of a brew over that wall thing, and um, not gonna lie, I got no clue who's gonna win. Holy shit, Stalin, what the fuck are you doing in Rhineland? Alright, it is time that we kick out those damn Carlists, and then all we need to do is conquer Morocco and re-establish the Caliphate and Muslim Spain. Hungary, my dear friend, I'm not sure if you realize, but you have kinda fucked up here quite a lot. Holy shit, Mexico is actually winning. Not gonna lie, even though I'm continent away from them, I'm kinda scared of this big Mexico. Oh boy, it seems that America is going to go through its Civil War June very soon. Ah, you know, as I'm recording this video, the chaos is happening in the USA in real time, so this is kinda relevant. Looks like Czechs are once again trying to decide if they want to be part of Europa and, you know, suck Germany's dick, or if they want to be Slavs. And the Turks are having kind of an identity crisis. Oh boy, it appears that the Second Weltkrieg is finally here and Germany is fighting on, well, multiple fronts. And also France too, cause they are at war with England for some reason. But it doesn't bother me, I'm just here trying to, you know, recover from the civil war. I'm not sure, but I think that with my actions I have caused the collapse of the Spanish government. Oh well. And here we are, restarting, cause I do not like anarchists or social fascists, I mean democrats, getting in charge. So yeah, we gotta do that whole thing again. And I think this time we have won. So all I had to do was to cooperate with, you know, social democrats. That is kinda strange, but oh well, and now we are known as the Spanish Soviets. And we have an interesting new flag, to say the least. And now that the power struggle within the party and Spain as a whole is over, we can, you know, support a revolution in Portugal by direct intervention. And thus, we have gained Portugal and all its colonies, so, you know, we are a bit of a colonizers ourselves. And long live Iberia. And nothing really changed except our name. And finally, I can take advantage of already weakened France and declare war on them. Well, so far it is going far better than I expected. Oh, just look at all these French people dying. Music to my ears. Not gonna lie, guys, but this is by far the strangest Fury Redux game I have ever had. Considering that Iberian socialists are fighting together with German Valkists and British monarchists against the French.
Fighting in Africa is absolute definition of pain. Oh boy, it is finally over. And here it is, the war is over and everyone has taken something and I, well, I took just a little bit. And well, what can I say, we have taken most of the French and Italian Africa, so now we have our own little colonial empire. And I have also taken here a part of Turkey, and of course, part of Indochina, and also I own Macau, and uh, this little port here in India. So yeah, you have uh, seen here, Jose Diaz reformed the Spanish Empire in more communist or socialist way. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this, another video for the Civil War June, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.